Hey, hello everyone. This is McFluffy2865. Hello everyone. This is McFluffy2865 here. I just want to show you all this on top of this. So like, if you guys are wondering what this is, this is basically I'm playing Fallout 76, and I was like, oh, they have a time shop, aka your microtransaction shop where you could use like real money in order to get like in-game purchases or like cosmetics, building materials, stuff to build with. For example. If you get, quotations, get included with Fallout first, which is basically just a, uh, you get your own private servers, you get like, what is it, yeah, you get like private servers, you get like, pretty much in-game atoms. Yeah, in-game atoms, it says right down here on my screen, where it says purchase, hide, tab, unlock, and all that. If you get, if you get Fallout first, which is a subscription service basically for Fallout 76, it gives you like, like I said, pro your own private worlds of, you can invite seven players to play with your friends. You get a spawnable camp, a survival tent that is then you can go into and interact with and all that stuff. I'm like, when I saw this, it says include a Fallout first. Vault lobby shelter. It's basically a piece of something that you can build with. I think it is. It it might be a, a there might be a certain section of modular piece of a building material, which to me personally, I'm like, it's like nah, I'm good people. Yeah, he's like this. I was like, like just seeing like something like that. I'm just like, really? I'm like, come on, people. This is something is. Oh, I don't really, I don't really care about the, the, pride in game stuff. I, like something like this. Like free carry weight boosters. I care more about cosmetics, about uh, free in game content about this. Well, to be honest, sorry, to be honest, like I don't like to me. When it comes to cosmetic stuff, in games, any video game would be like first person shooters, for example. I prefer give me more DLC content of like maps, game modes, stuff like that. If you had it like in weapon skins, character skins, and all that, it's fine and all. I'm fine with it, but I much prefer. <clears throat> I much prefer having um. I much prefer having um. Uh, so like, uh, let me see, I don't really care about, yes, yeah, so like some, I would like, I would much care about stuff like this, like this stuff like here, this cosmetic stuff, like building materials, like free in-game content for stuff like this, I would care about more extra, more extra stuff, um, like furniture to mess with, building comes with building games, like you're building this piece by piece, it's, I for more cosmetic stuff like this, like this is what I consider cosmetic, like if it's a first point shooter, like say for Call of Duty, I don't want more maps, more game modes, stuff like that. Um, let me see. Yeah, more game modes and stuff. You know, but it's something like a uh, game like Fallout Four or Fallout Twenty Six game with those kind of mecha building mechanics, where you can build stuff piece by piece, make your own houses and stuff. I want more stuff like this. More co more cosmetic stuff based. That's not restrictive or locked. You know, more in-game content. You know. More interaction, like decorations, or even like doors and stuff. Which is this doors along here somewhere? I don't see a door. Oh, as I said, an accordion door, I see, but stuff, stuff like that. Like, because like, when it comes to Call of Duty, I like, I like Call of Duty. I like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's DMZ mode. I like the gameplay content. I'm not playing Modern Warfare 3 yet. Mostly the fact that I'm not going on it on the platform I have it for. I'm not played it yet. So. Yeah, see, right here, this is what you get with the uh, Fallout first, is the private adventure, ooh, and then you get like the custom world, ooh, yeah, like, no thanks people, give me this any day, give me something like this, just basic game content, or uh, exclusive event, something like this, I'm not sure if this is, um, requires this or not, this is more info, huh. Yeah, it's one of those things made by quit quit by Thursday, but still. I feel like an in game event where I say a new new game mode or features. So like I know Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 did this. I didn't have a chance to just I think play some of the game modes. I didn't try them yet. I didn't try them within the time frame I had. I could have, but like with Call of Duty um Modern Warfare 3, not the uh, not the twenty eleven one from like the PS3 and P X360 and PC days. The newest one that's come out, like from twenty three or twenty twenty two. That one. 
the latest Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. That one has where you can like test gameplay or features of content early on. I think like gameplay features early on or Game Boys early on, which I much prefer that way. Like give me something I can test out the gameplay and features. You know, if I want to provide feedback, I can provide feedback. If I don't want to provide feedback, I don't have to, you know. Obviously, you want to, what you see right here on the screen is my character. <laughs> He's still level 1. He's not level 10 or anything. So, I was, like, looking up. I was, like, I saw some gameplay videos of, like, people doing, like, a lot of Fallout 76 builds. Like, just making custom summons and stuff. And they did a Fallout 4, of course, too. A Fallout 4. So... It's kind of interesting that they went from Fallout, like Fallout 1, 2, and 3, which I played Fallout 3, I never played the first and second one, or the Tactics one. But I played Fallout 3 and I played a little bit, I think, of Fallout 4, I'm not sure. But yeah. Well, we're back in the game, people. We are back in the game. Let's go. Oh, I don't know why it's like... Well, yes, but it's been some time. But she was a resourceful woman. I, I'm, I'm sure she's alright. Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted late comers out of the vault, and otherwise reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non-vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? I've been keeping watch here long enough to affirm that Outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed... And yo, just saw an actual glitch or bug in the game. That right there is a glitch or bug. Because you also have my mouse. I didn't click a single thing on this game. Hey, look at this! Romeo the Alpha. <laughs> look at this big boy, level 20. Nice. I got a best friend of mine, actually. He, uh, he plays this game. Actually, this might be a way to chat to people, isn't there? T? Uh, not to be. Oh, there it is. Uh, let me see. Hang on, y'all. So I'm trying to figure out one thing here. Control. There might be a way to. There should be a, a chat system in this game. Push to talk. Caps lock. Hey, can y'all hear me? Hello. Can y'all hear me? Romeo the Alpha? Romeo the Alpha and Waylon and Logan. Y'all, can you two hear me? If so, oh, oh, that person is gone. <laughs> hi! I guess you're wondering what I'm doing? I'm doing a recording for a YouTube video. Say hi to the audience. <laughs> nice gun. Yeah, I didn't have to jump years yet. I'm not figured that part out. Oh, space, of course. <laughs> I just I just played this game like a couple of days ago. Fortunately, I don't have much content for it, but gameplay-wise, I have a little bit of experience playing Fallout from playing this game from Fallout 3. And I don't think I played Fallout 4 yet, but I think I like the Game of the Year edition, so I think I should be good on um, PS4, I think. I'm not sure. So yeah. But hey, good luck with your game, whatever you're doing. Good luck with another Alpha. And kid, I play this, if I get this game again, I'll see you someday. Awesome. If, if not, have a good day.
See ya. And bye. I think I skipped the dialogue. Sorry, yo. I kind of like this. I like this game dialogue system. You can like ask questions because it's basically follow is RPG based too. The first and second one is the one involved into the, what it was. In case you are wondering, so this is, so a lot of video games, the RPG games do this when you interact with NPCs. The one thing I do wish, I'm not sure in RPG role playing games have like role playing game aspects like this, we can talk to NPC, get information about the game lore, uh, sorry, the game's world, the area, you know, almost like you would in real life. You talk, you know, almost like you kind of, well, uh, sorry, almost like when you would ask so many questions of what the area is, information, and stuff like that. Hey, welcome to Fallout 76. Welcome to the area. Sorry, welcome to Appalachia. I think. Careful with strangers. Not everyone's as friendly as us. Right. 
Yeah, this it. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Wow. Look at that, yo. Look at that. Wait, hold up. I gotta see this. Hang on. I gotta hang on. I gotta head up here for you so quick. I wanna head up here for you so quick. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Oh, well, he's gonna block it. Wow. I was thinking go to a different head. Oh, what? I just saw something. Yeah, no, it's not. I just saw something on my screen. That's not a good sign. Huh. Well, well, well. Look at this. If I went to my right, instead of going down to my left, I found some. I want to find a gun and stuff. Oh, the enemy at first encounter. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So I like three different paths and hate the left, the middle, or the right. And you interact with some AI. No, sorry, uh, pharaohs or ghouls, I think they're called in this game. This is cool. This is seriously cool. I'm not sure how big, I forget how big the map is. So let's see. I'm over here. Yeah, so I'm the little dark right now. Yeah, I'm still a dog. That's Vault 76. That's where I'm at right now. We're close enough to it. And this is the giant map of Fallout 76. And you know what I just marked? It. Yeah, move my cup. And this is the entire. Oh, uh, that's about as far as I can zoom in. Wow. I can't zoom in any further. Nope, I'm at the max level I can zoom out. Huh. Yeah, it's an entire map of Fallout 76. Yeah, West Virginia. Yeah, I said Appalachia, but it's West Virginia. Major highway, major roadway, excuse me. Walk Tech Industry. Here's to the new next 300, I think it says America. Walk Tech Industry Wilderness Sur Survey, major roadways, main highways. Interesting highways, rail railroads, rivers, mountains, and cliffs. Huh. You know, kind of reminds me of the, um, if you were coming to younger, I'm not sure they do this nowadays, but then if you were a young kid back then in the day, you could, um, you would have, like, this stuff down here, so, like, sorry, let me zoom in a little bit more. So, like, this stuff right here, this stuff in the general area, you would have, like, when you were when a little kid, you'd have to do something like this. You'd just, like, you get, like, this little, um, like, description of what this stuff is, and you have to, like, label it and all this stuff, you get, like, like, you could actually, like, oh, major roadways, major highways, and they say highways here, roadways here, roadways here, mountains, cliff. It's probably, like, some actual, like, real, uh, like, probably, like, digital tools you could do the same thing in, like, for Dungeons and Dragons or any game, really, probably. I wonder what, oh, so that's my destination, and this is the wayward, okay, so there's the speak the lane, and then the wayward thing is over here. The wayward, okay, interesting. It is, oh, I'm so it's north of me, okay. There's a cow and some other stuff, so. So, yeah. I say, um, hmm. I say, let's go here to the right and kill these. Look, this thing. Take everything. Yeah. Take. I think it's workbench. What? Follow up. Render the with for other work players. Can give you power buffs. At ten point, you only have one cam active at a time. Okay. Takes a little bit of time with the dialogue box to go away after a while. Doesn't need nothing about the pistol. And free war money. Yeah, in this game, you pretty much use um caps in this game. Oh, there's a machete right there, level one. Two plus two strength, two plus no plus max twenty five health. Free war money, yeah, that just stacks, that just takes up weight, I don't think you can that. Oh, it's cloth, okay. Well, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna equip, sorry, equip, <laughs> equip, equip this. Press mouse 2 to block, oops. Press mouse 1. Okay, so wait. Did I equip it? There we go. I think I had a nice looking machete. Yeah, that's a nice looking machete. Uh, 
That's nice. See, that's a nice looking machete. Like, seriously. That's a nice looking machete. I like that. As an actual melee weapon, I like this. Like, let's check out the pistol. I want to look at that. That is the pit pistol. Let's, let's see how to equip stuff though. I noticed that too, actually. Oh, I'll tell you right here on that. Yeah, I've equipped, but. Oh, I yeah, have bullets. Hold mouse to the aim. And press one to fire. I'm just gonna shoot one single bullet. Wait. Oh, me too. Oops. Let me load. Okay! Alright! <laughs> All right, sweet. I like this. I like this gun. I love this gun. I like this pip pistol gun. This beginner gun. This beginner gun. But what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna. Oops. Now I'm gonna go into my. Is it, yeah. Tab, you press tab to get into your inventory here. But I'm gonna equip this. Oh wait. Let me tab again. Yeah. So the CDN. CDN is pretty much basically it's a. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, it's a uh, what do you call it? It's a uh, oh, they killed the enemies there. Oh, I just lose them. Yeah, you're trying to get the uh, what's it called? The uh, oh, oh, bottle of water. I would like to eat that. First eight, first eight, sweet. Oh, and red plate, nice. We're cooking pot. You wanna take this stuff, like in Fallout 76, you have to take this stuff, cause like you get, like, I, I kinda looked up, I saw tips and tricks on a, go I googled, uh, from a website about this stuff. Oh, weak fell Google, that's what they had, I wish I knew what they had, that'd be kinda nice, no, no. And unfortunately they killed him with the item, so I don't really know what they had, if they had anything. Yeah, weak fell Google, I think they had something on there. Kinda, ooh, a soup harvest. That's a fun guy. Collect stems or chems. So eat why it's good. Your hunger made it drains over time. That's interesting. I do like you have to eat and you have to drink water in this game. That's kind of cool, actually. That is quite cool, honestly. You have to eat and drink in this game. That's quite cool. I do wish more games had it where you had a survival mode. Like in a first person shooter, like say Fallout. Uh, like games like Fallout or any game similar. Uh, sorry, not similar, but gameplay mechanics where you have to survive in game. Like I know. There's one zombie game called Daisy, you have to like keep track of your food, your hunger. Yeah, your food, your hunger, and all that. Um, pretty much for the most part. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a skillet. Oh. Well, sorry dude, rest in peace. Rest in peace, brother, rest in peace. Yeah, let's head down here. Oh, sweet. Come here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even me that quick. Ah, shoot. I got radiation. Oh, nice. No, I killed an enemy. Oh, a bobby pin. I'm going to eat that. Ooh. Plasma cartridge. Nice. I'm going to take all this stuff. Oh, you think when you see that little bag icon in the bottom right of my screen where it says ammo box, 32 to 160? That's how much max stuff I can carry of weight. Ooh, yeah, double bag, nice double bag. This is like an armored transport vehicle, I think. The looks of it. So. I mean, watching this, playing this game myself, actually, it gives me quite a bit of ideas. Respond to court. Ooh, a combat knife and a pickfork. I'm glad you got all that stuff. Ooh, there's an ammo. You can just spend like hours just looting stuff. Like, like for example, this game has a building mechanic system. Sorry, a building system where you can like build your own settlements, buildings and all that. You can spend more hours in the game, not even doing this main story of the game's quest. Like, say I just say Fallout 76 was a solo, like Fallout 4. Say there's like a, a spin-off. Okay. Say like there's a Fallout 76, it was single player only, you could spend hours, and I mean hours, just building stuff over and over, like coming up with so many building ideas and, you know, inspirations and everything, you know? You really could, like you seriously could spend more hours 
building stuff in game than playing the actual game itself. Which honestly, there's a lot of people who do that. There's a lot of people who do that. Man, there's like so much stuff around here. Like, I'm loving this game. Ooh, shotgun shows, and I man, I'm loving this. It makes me want to play Fallout 4, though, to be honest. Playing this a little bit, just from the amount of time I played today. One of the time I played, yeah, I'm playing today, and then when I play, if I maybe can tomorrow, maybe. Um, ooh, what's over here? Oh, it's blocked off. Where am I at? Oh, I'm heading down this way to end where, okay, so if I follow the road, I can head down this way down to there, to there, okay. Actually, I do want to head down the other way and see what's down that way real quick. But yeah, you just spend like hours just discovering this stuff. I like this map. I like this map. I don't know how big this map is compared to say like Fallout 3. Like how big it is in comparison. I've played Fallout 3. I've played all this DLC. I played the I played the base game and then I eventually played the DLC. Uh, cause I got like the game the year edition on PS3. I think it was. I think. That game was quite fun. I quite enjoyed it. Um, the only thing I did not like about the DLC, which was one of the, uh, I forget what DLC it is. It's kind of like, how do I say this? It's like alien based. Oh wait, I just get, oh wait, it did drop that stuff for me? Oh, I'm about to hang on. Sorry, y'all. Thank you to whoever dropped that item. Thank you. Glad you picked it up. Appreciate it. <gasps> hey, what's up? Hello. <laughs> hey, fancy, hey, can you hear me? Sorry. Hello. <laughs> hey, appreciate the thumbs up. I'm still learning how this game works. I'm just doing a gameplay recording for Fallout 76 right now. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to, bl sorry, I didn't mean to blind you. One thing I do like about this game, when it comes to games like this, that's online, is that you can play these games either via free-to-play, like buy it once, play it for as many years as you want, until it, um, so it's shut down. Or, worst case scenario, you buy the game, it's free to play, you play it so far, and then it has, you get able to pay while and have to pay for more actual money to play the game, to get further to unlock the entire game. I like games more like this, where it's like, you get to play it, try it out, if you like it, buy the game, you get to play as much content as you want, for free, you know, and then it's unlocked to you once you buy the game, you know? That's the only thing I like about this game. But, also, the nice thing, oops. But the nice thing is, too, is I can play this game solo if I want to, too, by myself with friends or with family. You know, I like about this game. I like about that game, too. It's like, I can play it solo if I want, so. But yeah, nice to meet you. I like the power armor. That looks quite sick. That looks quite nice. Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna have to do this with. Uh, nope. Uh, well, hang on. I'm gonna have to figure out how to look and see at the same time. There we go. Oh, wait. Uh, don't move. Sorry. Yeah, so check this out. So check this out, everybody. If y'all can hear me on the screen, on my screen. Yeah, so this is the guy's power armor. His power armor is literally like this. This is what, being level 223, see Enrin, Siren, EXXA looks like. So yeah. I'm just, if you're wondering what I'm doing, uh, player, uh, Siren, I'm just doing a YouTube video right now of gameplay of Fallout 76. Cause they had like, seven, eight days, how many days it was to play the game. So like, hey. Free game for Fallout 76. I enjoyed Fallout 3. Loved this DLC. I didn't like the, uh, I think it's called the Alien one. I thought that was a little bit off-putting to me personally. I thought it was like, okay. I like these other DLC stuff. This one I didn't really, I didn't like the Alien DLC. I thought it was a little bit odd that they had aliens in the game, but if they had it previously in the other Fallout games, I felt like it didn't really fit. I feel personally with the uh, Fallout lore in general. The theme they're going for for Fallout 3, but that's just me. So yeah. But, you have a good day. Thank you very much. I'm trying to think how to do a thumbs up in this game. I don't know how to do the actual keyboard commands in this game yet. Uh, nope, that's the wrong button actually. Yeah, I actually want to give you a thumbs up too. I'm just trying to read that out. <laughs> Oh, whoops. Oh, there we go. I'm in first person. 